Good morning, good morning, good morning, y'all. Happy Wednesday. Joy comes in the morning. It's your girl, Dad, do that tarot. And I'm back for another tarot reading. So please like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified of when I upload and when I go live. And if you would like to book a private reading, you can do so by going to the description box. Okay? Um, everything I do here is all alleged and for entertainment purposes only. I am an intuitive reader. Been one for a long ass time now. Okay? Um, yeah. So let's just have fun with this. Um, why every time I want to start something, I see this? You know what? I'm going to wait till this ambulance. Okay. It looks like it's going back into the station. Okay, cool. So we're going to talk about... Tasha Cash. So I was watching Armand Wiggins live last night, and he's a damn fool. He's the whole fool, right? Just crazy as hell. Um, but it was a good laugh. But he did talk about Tasha K and Cardi B's situation, and um, so I was like, "What's going on with Tasha K?" So I go over there. See, the thing is, though, what people gotta understand the pro to talking about each other is that you pretty much send subscribers their way pretty much so i went over there haven't really been over there but i seen that um she made a post and she renewed her vows in africa with her husband and it was a surprise no 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 not renewed yeah renewed vows yeah it was a surprise wedding in africa and she said it was beautiful pretty much um the family put everything together. She didn't have to do anything. Um, his, all the women in the family, you know, did her makeup, made the dress, cooked everything, right? And she got to dance with his 80-year-old grandmother, I think. But um, a lot of stuff, just a lot of family-oriented, wholesome stuff. And they prayed over them, right? So pretty much... It was unity. You know what I'm saying? Like that unity, that family spirit, that that extra ancestral spirit. Like and I think she got married in their family home and it was and they had that home for generations as far as what she was saying. So to be honest with you, her trip to Africa was probably much needed. And she probably really did need to take a break from America, just period. I mean, just everything. Um, I kind of feel like she should have took a break from social media, too. But, you know, work is work. You still got to go to work. You know what I'm saying? So, that's your job and your passions. I get it. But, I'm actually, she looked really happy and really excited in that picture. And I was like, oh, that's a beautiful picture of her. And, you know what? Great. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't really... So maybe she needed a cleanse, a renewal, she needed fresh air, she needed new scenery, all those things like that because you gotta clear that head, right? So let's just get the energy surrounding why she went to Africa, um, how she's feeling now, and what can she expect coming back? Because the thing is, you know, she did do a rant towards Cardi B and called her all types of names and everything else like that and then come to find out um and Cardi B was like oh well you gonna cry on Friday basically right so come to find out Cardi B has now with that appeal she's told that she's asked the judge you know to basically okay you want to appeal something we need a bond we need you to come up with this money now right and then also she's also I guess starting to garnish her wages and she's asking Chase to hand over any access and that's Tasha K's bank account oh bank oh my goodness so going to Africa was much needed for Tasha K so let me see what's going on why did she go to Africa and I'm going to use my tarot of the now y'all why did Tasha K go to Africa uh so, okay well initially I'm not going to lie these two cards fall out so I'm going to just go with it the seven of swords she's trying to be sneaky and strategic yes she is and this nine of pentacles sneaky and strategic about her independence as far as money you know 
and for a new creative uh, yeah a new energy that's that's what I'm saying a new energy right a new it's new action enterprise relationship creativity this is something new that she needed and see she is an independent woman as far as making her own money but I kind of feel like it was strategic it was a sneaky way to be strategic about her whereabouts about money as well and but it's also about just going out new air new scenery de-stressing detoxifying whatever you want to call it from negativity and getting her creative swing back okay so i kind of feel like it's all of that in one so how is she feeling now because that picture said a lot of words it was a very beautiful picture okay so she looked really genuinely happy one two three she has clarity because at first it was a lot of mental confusion. It was a lot of stuff on her plate. She feels like she's clear of thought now and she kind of knows what she wants to do. As in like, you know, now she can choose her actions and what she wants to do. So in America, she had too much going on on her plate. She started like feeling confused, not knowing what to do. It was a lot of stuff going on. She just, like I said, she needed a break. The Four of Cups. Now, this is taking an emotional opportunity, okay? So, honestly speaking, it's a good thing because she took that opportunity to go to Africa. But also, she took what his family that she married into was giving her. And that's love, support, you know, all types of good things, right? So, it's good for her, right? And... Pretty much, she realized what the vibe, what really matters, right? So, it's a bit of clarity. Like, everything else she's been doing doesn't matter. What really matters is your family, who loves you, who got your back. You know what I'm saying? So, the internet doesn't matter. Okay, that's how she's coming back. Okay, so that's how she's feeling now. Okay, what is she coming back to? How? What's going to happen when she comes back and how is she going to take it? The Ten of Swords is in the reverse. Now, this is endings, okay? She's going to come back to endings, complete endings. Um, but there's a silver lining in it. You won't get what you originally had back, but you can move forward, all right? So that's how she's going to come back. Um, the Ace of Swords is more lies in the reverse. This is lies, clouded judgment, not being honest, or, you know, fussing cussing you know trying to force people also it talks about someone forcing you to do things you're going to hear her being forced to do things as far as you know this lawsuit um but you're going to hear some lies too and it's not coming from the people who's forcing you in a way like it's not like because the judge and the main line but you're going to hear some arguing <laughs> somebody's going to be cursing Somebody's going to be, you know, saying some salacious stuff. But all in all, somebody's being forced. And this is over anxiety and over stress and over work. This is all swords now. This is all verbal and mental. This is going to be some verbal abuse and mental abuse going on here. <laughs> okay. And this is the five of cups in the reverse. Please do not get stuck in that depression energy you're gonna have to get out of that um lost energy because you've already lost that's why it's in the reverse so it's gonna be a lot of stress so it was a good thing to go to africa because there's a lot of anxiety and a lot of stress that's about to start happening coming back to America and she does need a clear hair for it she does need to be strong okay because this is going to be something different but however um you have to move on and I think she eventually move on she's gonna have to but this is the six of uh, swords in the back though oh she's still gonna be mentally and the stuff she says and mentally she's gonna be in a messed up place okay 
when she does come back. I'm not going to lie. When everything hit the fan. Because <sighs> this is chaotic energy. And it's all over the internet. Things is going to be. You know what it is. The Her faults are going to be on the internet. Just like how. You know. And I don't mean no harm. But. Just like vloggers talk about other people and their downfalls and stuff she's already been talking this is what's going on people are doing the same thing to her as she did to others and it's hard you know it's one thing you can put on a brave face and step to the plate when people are talking about you but it's another thing when, when it's, it's it's for real you know what i'm saying like like the stuff that she's going through is for real shit about to hit the fan and it's not funny and you know it's a loss of money the ten of the ten of pentacles in the reverse that's the loss of inheritance they're taking real stuff from that lady and not only that that was because of a long and strenuous lawsuit so it's a loss of inheritance you know at the end of the day it's a loss of stability security and wealth <sighs> and don't get me wrong if the problem is it's a ruling this this judge is not playing and any type of any type of appeal they're not playing so i don't think they're getting one so the best thing for her to do is keep working towards something keep making new plans okay but it's a lot of stress a lot of anxiety so it was a great thing that she went to africa to clear her head this time okay because she needed that and she needed to know that she do have family who love and care about her because Yeah. It's not funny though when you really start tapping into it. It's not funny at all. I mean, it's funny when you hear them in a funny way and stuff, but when you really start tapping into it, it's a sad situation that could have been avoided. It's hurtful. And you gotta be a certain type of person to take on that type of hurt. You gotta be brave for that. But look. I love y'all for real. Like, comment, subscribe. See y'all later. Peace.